Hey, what is going on guys? I'm going to show you how to transfer files like uh, documents, photos, videos from your Samsung Galaxy A80 directly to your computer. Doesn't matter if you have a Windows computer or a MacBook. Uh, first thing is that the cable that they supplied you with is a USB Type-C to Type-C. So you need to go and connect it. The thing is, if you don't have a USB Type-C on your uh, computer or your laptop, then what you have to do, which I don't have a USB Type-C on this Windows laptop here, so first thing you got to do is go ahead and get yourself one of these. I'll put a link below where you can get one, but it's basically a uh, regular USB to a USB Type-C. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this cable here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that into there. I'm going to go ahead and pop the USB into my computer right here. Now we just like heard something there. And now let me go ahead and make sure I log into my phone here. So I'm logged into my phone. Now if I go open up a uh, file explorer here. Now the thing is, okay, so my A80 here just popped up. So, and I can see Galaxy A80 right here, okay? So the thing is, if I go ahead and click on uh, this right here, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. But if I go ahead and click on this right now, I have no files or anything, any folders, anything on here. And the reason is because you have to go back into the A80 here. This is what we have to do. So go ahead and log back in here. And now when, once you're logged in, what you have to do is you're gonna have to go ahead and scroll down, okay? So slide down your notifications like this. And then right here, okay? It says Android system. You can see right there, Android system. Uh, USB file transfer turn on. So go ahead and tap on that right there. Tap on that and then you want to tap on it again, okay? Tap on it again. And now this pops up here, okay? Now the thing is you want to make sure that you're on um, transferring files, okay? So now you can see up here, this here pops up now. So I get an actual uh, folder here or a drive. Now I can double click on that. And then if I wanted to go ahead and um, transfer some um, like photos and videos that I have on my A80. I have to go to the DCIM folder here, double click on that. And then the only um, photo, I only have photos on here, just screenshots, okay? I don't have any uh, other photos or videos. Anyways, so what you can do here is you can go ahead and select uh, whichever one uh, that you wanna save. For instance, if I wanna go ahead and save all of these uh, pictures, these screenshots, I can go ahead and just uh, highlight them all. I can go down click on copy and I can I can put them on my desktop here. I'll just click, I'll just go to right click. I'll go down to new, new folder and I'll just type in folder, photos for this folder here. And then I can just go ahead and double click on this and right click and then go to paste. And now all of those screenshots or photos are in this folder right here that I named photo right there. So pretty simple. Any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching guys.